Friday and it's time to get busy on this uh, clay. Um, I'm going to try to finish it up this week, uh, this weekend in fact, uh, hopefully today. And uh, then Monday or Tuesday I will be taking it to the uh, foundry uh, to get a final bid on the clay. Or actually on the casting and mold costs of the clay. Uh, let's get busy. Time to play with some clay. Yeah, I'm going to do those feathers again. I'm not happy with them. Okay, I got it pretty much finished. I'm just going to go over it uh, some more just to make sure I've got everything covered. Putting texture in it where it needs to have texture and Out the clothes behind the 
the robe and all that stuff. I can hear deer outside. They make kind of a sound like ear, ear. Kind of sound like that. There's a whole family out there. A couple little babies. And some females. No males. Males tend to hang out with each other, I think, till the rutting season, which isn't. Well, it should be going on about now. Mating season. I think, anyway. I know that the buffalo are rutting this time of year. All right, I've attached the uh, new feathers onto the uh, robe, and I've given myself enough fur underneath the feathers to fill in behind them so it won't be so difficult for the uh, foundry to, to cast it, and they won't have to cast the feathers separate. Now, somebody suggested I use a uh, toothbrush and I thought of that. In fact, I still might go get one. A good stiff one. Just for future. And someone even offered to send me some texturing brushes, which I of course said, yes, please. Anyway, I've got the uh, two hawk feathers on the, uh, the end of the cap and uh, don't think I want to add anything more to that. I still got a little more texturing to do on this, the buffalo robe, but basically this is pretty done. I uh, didn't show me making the feathers and uh, I'm not sure if I show you me making them in the first one or not when I first started doing the feathers on this piece but uh, if I didn't it's because I sell instructional DVDs on how to sculpt and in the Prairie Warrior I show how to make feathers and uh, to put them on a war bonnet. So, if you really want to see detail of that, my instructional DVDs are well worth your expenditure, I think, because uh, I show basically over 50 years of my experience at sculpting 
and the advantages that that gives me and that I can pass on to you. All right, that's going to be it. I've got the robe pretty well finished off. I'm going to texture it just a little bit more tomorrow. And I'm going to check, double check the undercuts, just to make sure everything's covered. And I might just go get me a stiff toothbrush to finish off this robe a little bit. I still have smooth areas as well as rough areas on the robe, which I like because that gives a sculptural quality and how to look good in the uh, finished bronze. And everything I've done has been done to hopefully make this piece shine. I still have beadwork to do on it and I'll show you that tomorrow. But for today, I want to call it quits. It's getting late in the afternoon. And I don't want to be putting my video out at midnight. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking this. All right, good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.